So hello everyone, I'm Meghna uh, from the Alan Turing Institute and today I'll be talking about counting sea pens from ocean flow video footage. This work was done in collaboration with CFAS uh, and let me show you what we have been able to do. Right, so first of all, some good news. This was the research highlight for one of the research highlights for the year for the Turing Institute. Uh, we are very thankful for the people at CFAS who have really given us all the data and everything. So what we have achieved during this, uh, we trained a ULO V5 classifier and achieved 90% accuracy for MAP of 0.5%. Uh, we are successful identification across multiple years. We did classification, we did uh, seep and tracking, and also video enhancement. Let me show you a bit of videos that I hope they work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. oh. This is not going to work. Oh, maybe. But, but then I'll have to open up the tab. What we do, <laughs> I have this problem with all. Uh, we just go to go to Money. Blank screen. Oh, there we are. Oh, it, it was, was there briefly. It was, it was there for a flash. <laughs> oh, it's it's still open. Oh, there there right. there. Yes, there we go. Right, but it's opening on the, on the different thing, then I'll have to go back where yeah. sorry. Uh, now it's going into that mode. It seem to be. Oh, we're not in. We're not in PowerPoint anymore. No, that's the problem. Yeah. Right. Need to get back to PowerPoint. Uh, yeah. So, so I need Google Slides so so that it works, and then otherwise it's not going to work. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, I'll try how I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, <laughs> you sent me the link, didn't you? Yeah. I'm just going to stop sharing for a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, this was an unexpected technical problem. Um, uh, so, I need to find your email. This is a slide that this is a presentation that has to be presented online rather than yeah. right. Okay, <laughs> so I move that onto the screen. Wow, yeah. And then I show. Yeah. Well, I now need to go back and make sure the people at home can see it. Yeah. What are you seeing, Steve? Probably yeah. nothing. <laughs> I think I'll even stop the meeting tonight. No, it's that right. Share screen. Um, do you want? Do you want the here's what docs? That's what you would do. No, it's the left. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Right. So sorry. That works. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hopefully this works. So, Oh, okay, so these are some of the uh, penatula variety that we have been able to track. Uh, so on the left hand side, you have the, the uh, human annotated model, and the second one is our model. Similarly, we did Virgilaria. Uh, right. 
So as you can see, like this is very difficult if uh, to identify if you are not a trained human and our model is able to achieve that very well. Um, the next video is how, how we enhanced the video that we were given and then we use some of the Plahi implementation to improve these. And this is some automated laser detect detection so we know which area to concentrate on. Otherwise, our model would be looking at everything. Right, so what are sea pens? So these are uh, feather-shaped colonies which are found in uh, crustacean or uh, lobster burrows. And these indicate the health of... Just get rid of this. Right. Right. So this indicates the health of muddy ecosystem. And CFAS has a large collection of these video footage of the seafloor covering over a period of 2014 to 2021. And the objective of this investigation was to see whether uh, we can reliably localize or and classify the available footage. <clears throat> and is there a possible method to count these over different frames and whether the video could be enhanced and we have received uh, we have achieved all these during our work so the data set provided were from the nephros burrow survey which is i i believe present in norway and ireland and these were done with two different kinds of cameras so light hue color and lighting geometry cameras so these are two different kinds of camera that work very differently and I'll show you how these cause a bit of a challenge for us. And we also had some tracking data and some identifiers for bounding boxes for different kinds of um, C events. So in, in order to tell you what the challenges were, so these are the video like screenshots, snapshots from different years. So you can see that the quality is very different. So in order to process both of these images. It's a different process and hyperparameters for everything. So that was our challenge. And this is our pipeline. So what we want from our model is to uh, take these videos, divide them into frames, and then uh, go, uh, go them through our training process, which is to either classify or detect the bounding boxes and then correlate those frames again to create a video. And the detection algorithm that we use and classification algorithm we used was the OLO V5. And it has 157 layers with 1.7 billion parameters. And it gave us 90% accuracy for most of the years. So here we have some detection uh, results. So as you can see for training set and validation set, our loss is going down. And our metrics for uh, mean average precision is also going up. So these are the good results. And as you can see, it, the accuracy for different years is different because it all depends on what kind of uh, uh, raw data we came to come up with. Uh, finally, uh, I just wanted to show you guys like how difficult the problem is. This is what you see from the human eye. It's very difficult to actually understand what is happening. So this is our this is our classification model where we have class one as Pinachula, second is Virgularia, and the third one as the background. And it's very difficult. Uh, finally we have some C pen uh, C pen tracking that uh, that we performed. Uh, so as you can see we give different IDs to different objects, sorry, different penachulas and virgularias over the over the video. Uh, and finally, uh, this is our process for the laser detection. We do a gray scaling, Gaussian blur, canny edge detection, and then there are multiple steps that come along with it, as you can see. Uh, finally, uh, in future work, we would like to integrate the entire pipeline, uh, do a comprehensive accuracy assessment, and also uh, extend the model for lobster camp, uh, which is an upcoming work. Uh, conclusion is that we got 
uh, great results for detection, classification, and excellent tracking and laser detection. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Can I quickly ask one question? Um, we've tried this approach or tried a similar approach and failed in right. BGS looking at um, subsurface sediments to look actually at the structure of the sediments. Could this model be adapted for that purpose? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. You have a customer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you very much.